So I got this message from a hater. You know, haters love breaking my balls, as, as you all know. He's like, hey, Father, don't try to act like you know about real estate. We were talking about the um, Ken Griffin deal where he sold his Starfront Water Estate to Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, for $18.5 million. Now, here's the thing that doesn't make sense, okay? Ken Griffin bought the property back in 2020 from what I believe was $24 million. So it's one thing, look, I get it. You know, because the, the, the point this hater was making is cash is king. Probably got a cash offer, doesn't want to deal with the headaches. I get it. But to take a $5.5 million loss, really? I mean, doesn't that, like, look bad on Ken Griffin? I mean, he's got investors in Citadel. Don't they want to know why he's taking a loss like that? I mean, it's just his reputation's on the line. This is supposed to be a guy who runs a hedge fund. He's, a, he's in the business of making money. And, I mean, to just take a $5.5 million hit like that, it, it's not even so much the money. It looks bad. It, it just it just brings a lot of questions, un, unanswered questions to the table. Like, why would he do it? And, you know, you look at the same situation with Sylvester Stallone. He sold the Rocky Mansion to Adele for a major, major loss. Like, he had it listed for, like, $110 billion. I think he sold it for, like, $50 billion or whatever. It was crazy. I mean, that was really crazy. But it just makes you think, like, when things like that happen, why are people doing it? Okay? And, you know, if someone is, look, this is the way I see it. Okay, look, Sylvester Stallone's a very successful guy. There's no question. But in terms of money, Ken Griffin is a whole lot more successful. I mean, the guy's a multi, multi-billionaire. Um, Stallone's worth a good 400, 500 mil. Don't get me wrong. He's not doing too shabby. But Ken Griffin's in the billions, the tens of billions. I think he's like, what, what was he worth? 40, 50 bill? So I just don't understand why he would do, he would he would take a $5.5 million loss. Like if anything, if, if A-Rod offered him, you know, $24 million, it was just break-even Steven type of deal, and he just didn't want to be bothered. He's like, look, whatever, you know, you're A-Rod, I like you, you're you're a legend, you know, I'm a big baseball fan, I'm a big Yankee fan, all right. And he just winded up giving it to him at cost. Okay, I could see that, that makes sense to me. But to take a $5.5 million hit, people who do that are in desperation. People who do that are in a rush. People who do that need money. Now, does Ken Griffin appear like he needs money? No. And I am not trying to start a conspiracy theory. I'm not trying to do it. Uh, the guy just paid record, a record price for, uh, uh, the, I think, like the the most expensive waterfront estate in Miami. He's building a gigantic new headquarters, uh, skyscraper for Citadel of Miami. Don't seem like he's hurting for money. But it just doesn't make any sense why it would take a $5.5 million hit. I just don't get it. It looks bad. It looks bad to his investors. It looks bad on his reputation. It just looks bad. I don't know why he did it. It just doesn't make sense.